back past the bowler and very few if any that went anywhere near mid off or mid on so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on i'm sure a lot of players around the world would have done their homework as far as the batting technique of one ijaz ahmed Beautifully played. Positive start there for Ejaz and like really dropping it too short. He's not quick enough on this pitch. He's going to drop it halfway down. He's going to get picked off and that ball's going to go. Well, there it is. Ejaz just behind the wicket again on the leg side. But he gets off the mark with a good boundary there. Good positive shot. And he's trying to crouch a little bit. That's outside the leg stump as well. So there's plenty of sticks, stumps for the bowlers to see. That's going to be four. Richard was talking about the square cut, and there it is. The ball flashes past the fielder down to the point boundary for four. And he hit it well, too, and he got over the top of it. And just given too much room outside the off stump. A little bit aerially for a starter. But boy, that man there at third man just didn't have a chance. Well, that was just a free hit, really. And uh, he just, just really laid into that. And it is... Beautifully stroked away. Fairly slow outfield. It might struggle to get there. But the batsman will have time for three. That really was a classic shot by Ejaz. Well, he can be quite a punishing player, Ejaz Ahmed. He's ideally suited coming in at number three. Just a little bit of width there onto the front foot. Good extension. Good back. Certainly getting some turn, but again, he's very wide. And that's well played by Ejaz. And four runs. I think Richard Hadley pointed out earlier on that Ejaz Ahmed, because of his grip and his back lift and his style, was a good exponent of the flat back shots. Well, here is one of them, the cut shot. The secret to it is to be able to hit the ball down into the ground, keep it down so you don't run... And uh, Akib Javid as well. It's a tough call on any lineup. Well, that might have been the wrong one. Just as that came back. Misfielding. And the misfielding has cost four runs. 99 for one. And that's a six. Into the stand it goes. on 99 a jazz on 49 four on seven for one the hundred partnership well played very convincing partnership that and both that's been played and wire and ejaz are going to play very well indeed and EJ is just one short of his 50 now and with only three runs required for victory and he's in strike as the field comes in now to prevent the single I suspect that Ejaz might like to do this in some sort of style. Oh. He plays it into the covers, and that's going to be his 50. He's out. And so is Saeed Anbar. A wave to the Pakistan balcony by Ejaz, and then to the crowd. And they are on their feet, waving the sixes and the four placards that they have. That's the 50. It's just a nicely controlled innings from Ejaz.